Hey nerds, what's up? Today we are doing a spoiler free review for a book that I received from the author in exchange for an honest review. So that book is Echoes by Laura Tisdall. So let's get into this review. to give you just a little bit of a synopsis for this book. It is about a girl named Mallory. She is a senior in high school. She has some issues at home as all teenagers in our books do these days and she has started to cope with those issues at home by coding online and she ends up becoming a part of this online secret forum that is doing illegal encryptions and showing the world some big problems that are hidden in the encryptions such as like hidden money from corporations and things like that and then that starts a big long adventure that is scary and dangerous and that is what this story is about. I give this book a 4 out of 5 stars because although it took me a month to read it, it's mostly because I didn't have time to read it. I was in school, I had midterms and blah blah blah, so I kept having to not pick it up for like a week at a time, but every time I did have time to pick it up, I just kept reading. I kept turning the pages, I didn't want to stop, I needed to know. That was a really good thing about this story, it was very fast paced and very riveting. I did have some issues with it, obviously, because I gave it a four and not a five out of five star. There are issues at home, like I said, and they are kind of a little bit stereotypical. I would have liked to see some different problems, and I also would have liked a little bit more explanation from certain things. There were certain things that I felt were left a little bit unexplained and they just, they were there in order to make the plot easier to make sense. I also had an issue with the fact that this book takes place in New York. Mallory is an American and it's in her point of view. It's third person um, in her brain only. We get her thoughts, we get her brain. But a lot of things that Mallory says are British slang or British terminology and I looked at the about the author and that's because the author is British and not American and so it was enough to make take me out of the story a little bit and have to go find that before I finish the story. She said they were queued up outside of the bar instead of they were in line outside of the bar. Like just little things like that. I was just like, are you actually British? Because I think I can tell. So just a little, little things like that where, I mean, they didn't make any real difference to the story, but it did take me out a little bit. I did like Warden, which is the best friend, the boy that's involved in the story, loved his character so much. He was awesome. I loved him. I just want more of Warden, honestly. I like Mallory too, but she's alright. But I like Warden a lot, lot more. The other thing that I found a little, it's the word I'm looking for, contrived? in this story was that both Mallory and Warden, who are the two main characters of this story, both have disorders of some sort, like OCD type disorders. They don't really go into detail about what they're called, although they do name what Mallory has, I just don't remember it. It's a fear. And they just both happen to have it, like, or not the same thing, but they both happen to have one, like, it seems a little bit but overall I really really liked this story. Like I said, very fast paced, very enjoyable. It was just a fun, easy, quick read and they didn't get too like nerdy with the encryption and the coding which I have no idea how to understand. They didn't like go into that at all in the sense of like me having to try to read it and be lost. Like that didn't happen which I was very happy about because I was a little bit worried about that and um, glad that did happen. And I love the cover too. So if you're judging the book by its cover, it gets a 5 out of 5 stars. Boom. And Laura Tisdall is very sweet. I follow her on Twitter and I've been emailing back and forth a little bit at the beginning when she sent me this book. She's very nice. And yeah, so I think you should pick up this book. I recommend it. And that's it for this review. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you're planning on picking up Echoes by Laura Tisdall. And I will see you very soon with a new video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!